Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Elephonics. In the previous video, we have seen how to send data from ESP32 to Firebase Cloud. In this video, we are going to fetch the data in our own web app. So in this video, we are going to learn how to make our own web app. First, open VS Code, go to extension and install Node.js. I have already installed it. In your case, you have to install it if it is not installed before. Then go to file, create new folder for web app. Open the newly created folder. Click on terminal. Now it's time to play with command. So let's start from the beginning. So I am doing logout to show you from the beginning. By Firebase logout command, Firebase will be logout. Then you need to log in using Firebase login command. Then press Y for activate your Firebase for command line interface. Choose your account which have Firebase project already built it. Allow the CLI. You should get this message Firebase CLI login successful. Then initialize Firebase using Firebase init command. Then press Y for proceed further. So make sure you have chosen these two option using spacebar button and by using up and down arrow key to move up and down. Now choose your project. In my case, it's Suraj project. Then press Y. Again, press Y. Then N. Use Firebase serve dash dash only hosting for local hosting. You will get one link on it. Congratulations. You have successfully hosted your web page locally. Now it's time to make our own web app. Create one folder with name scripts under the public profile. Add to file index.js and auth.js. Paste this code inside the index.js and auth.js. Because this video is too long, so I'm not going to explain all code in just one video. If you want, make me to do so. Drop a comment. I will make separate video for the same. Make sure you have to change your Firebase config section. You need to open Firebase under project overview section. Choose project setting. Copy this config section and include in your code inside index.html section. Now type Firebase serve test as only hosting for hosting your new page locally. Now our web page has built it, but we are not getting data. This is because we have not published any data. Now let's move to Arduino code and publish some data. Copy this code and upload in your ESP32. Don't forget to provide your Firebase API and database URL. I have already explained in my previous video, link is in description. After uploading this code, we are publishing some random data over the reading 1, reading 2 and reading 3. Wow, we are getting data on our own web app, which we have built it recently. We are also able to change the slider, which is reflecting in our database. But this is not in guys. We have published our web app locally. We need to publish it globally so that anyone in the world can access our web app. The best thing is Firebase provide us free hosting. So let utilize these features. For hosting globally, we need to type just one command. 
Firebase deploy. So our web app is hosted globally. Oh, but we are not able to see our web app. Reason is we have to give part to access our scripts page till now we are giving local address. Now we need to give global address. To give global address, open your Firebase, then go to hosting, copy your web app link and paste the link inside index.html by appending it with your web app link backslash script backslash index.js and same for the script your web app link backslash scripts backslash auth.js also check this link by clicking now everything is set up deploy this using firebase deploy finally we are getting data so that's it guys in next video we will deploy this in our custom domain name thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe because it's the only source of my motivation.